Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk. This video is going to try and help you out when you're trying to install Umbrico and you want to use a full SQL Server, well that can be Express or um, proper SQL Server, but when you're using SQL Server option on the install rather than Compact Edition or the others. And then you get this problem here, could not connect to database. And you've followed instructions like what I've given you when you've created your user and um, you've given it the right permissions. So those permissions being on here, I've got SQL, SQL error demo, I've got a user here, SQL error demo, and I've got user mappings, I've got it all set up properly, SQL error demo, and on here I've got reader, writer, owner. So you might be frustrated, not knowing what's happening, and it's doing your head in. You just want to get past this part here, and you might give up and just go on to compact edition, but don't give up. I think one of the most likely reasons for this is, when you created your user, uh, I told you to set them up um, so that they're using SQL Server authentication. But your server might not be, when I say your server, it could be your SQL Express server. It might not be set up to allow for SQL authentication, which sounds a bit strange. But by default, you, it's only set up for um, Windows, if you see what I mean, Windows login, so like if you've log logged into your machine. So if you go into the security tab, and here we've got, so I've right clicked, sorry, let me start again. I've right clicked on the server, go to properties, go to security, and the server authentication is currently just set to Windows authentication mode. So b because of the way we do it, we want it to be able to use a SQL login. So we want to change that to be mixed mode, which is SQL Server and Windows Authentication mode. So we choose that, and then we click OK. Now be, pay attention to the message that comes up. Some of your configuration changes won't take effect until SQL Server is restarted. You might think that means close SQL Server Management Studio and start it again. That won't do it. What you actually have to do is you have to go into Services, so look for services, click on that, and then when you've opened services up, scroll down to SQL Server, and the server I have on my machine is SQL Express instance, and click on restart. So that will then restart the uh, SQL Server instance, and should mean that your server, let me just close Management Studio, it should mean now that it's going to be available for um, SQL logins as well as um, the or Windows authentication mode. So now if I try and continue again, it's got through that. So I just wanted to help out anyone else that was struggling, whether following my demo or following other people's instructions, that's how you get past that issue. It's probably down to you've not got um, SQL enabled. Uh, SQL authentication enabled, you've only got Windows authentication enabled. So yeah, it was just a quick one, I'm not doing anything else with this, I just wanted to show you that um, and hopefully it will help somebody out. Alright, if you like this video uh, please hit like and subscribe and um, share it with other people if you like and I look forward to doing more videos for you. Thanks for watching.